So this is the Swiss wall. This run is famous for being one of the most difficult black runs in the world. Now, is that true? Well, how about I'll show it to you up close and you can decide for yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna take you for a run down the Swiss wall with me and I want you to tell me whether you think this is one of the most difficult black runs or if you know of one which is harder. All right, that's enough fancy royalty-free music. Now I'm narrating this video afterwards so I can give you way clearer information about what's going on. The entrance sits over two kilometers above sea level and this run starts with a bang. The top section is the steepest and most difficult part. The whole slope is far too steep to ever get groomed so it's pretty much always covered in massive moguls. The top section, especially the ski and snowboard traffic sculpts all sorts of weird and wonderful snow formations. And like a monkey faced with a monkey puzzle tree, you'll want to take it easy when approaching this chaotic maze of moguls. So how steep is this supposed hardest black run? Well, the steepest part of the top section is about 38 degrees. You might have heard the claim that it's over 90% and if you're like me, you'll have wondered what the flipper neck does that even mean? Well, on a 90% slope, for every 100 meters you go forwards, you'll drop 90 meters vertically down. So a 100% slope would be 45 degrees since for every 100 meters forwards, you go 100 meters down. Now, strictly speaking, a 38 degree slope works out more like 80%, but let's be honest, 90% sounds way cooler, so we'll stick with that. I'm George, by the way, I'm a ski instructor here in Avoria, and my ski school's meeting point is just a couple of chairlifts away. The Swiss wall lies between Avoria and Les Creuset in Les Portes du Soleil and drops down from the French border into Switzerland. The vertical drop of this run is about 350 meters, but you'll have to bounce down about a kilometer of moguls to finish it. All right, that's a lot of babbling. Now, did I mention how incredible the scenery is? Don't forget to look up from the ground in front of you and appreciate this mind-blowing corner of planet Earth. Now, I'm guessing that a lot of you are thinking that this run looks horrible. Many skiers and snowboarders hate bumps, but the thing with moguls is that once you get into them, you learn to love them. Moguls are the ultimate training tool for improving your skiing, and once you acquire the taste, you get sensations unlike anything else, and you'll find yourself looking for bumps instead of avoiding them like the plague. So if you're an advanced skier and you wanna work on your skills in the bumps, get in touch and we'd love to help you out and watch this space for an upcoming tutorial on how to ski the Swiss wall. Once you make it towards the bottom section of this famous Muir Swiss, the gradient mellows out and if you've got any energy left in the legs, it's easier to take a more direct line and finish it with a bit of speed. So there you have it, the famous Swiss wall black run. Is it the most difficult in the world? Do you know of any runs which are harder? Let us know in the comments below. And I'm also making a tutorial video on my top 10 tips on how to ski the Swiss wall. So if you wanna ski this run, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.